All right, we are back with World Cup action here. France versus Canada once again. This is the uh, third seeded players uh, coming up against each other here. This is game two from the match. I probably won't cover all of the games. I'll just cover the ones that I find interesting or instructive, especially to the Canadian team. Or if they request that I do any, I'll, I'll do it as well. So the score is 1-0 to the French. And this is game two. The kingdom is up here. There's no plus buy in the kingdom, which makes uh, things like Leprechaun and Expand that much more valuable, considering they are gainers. Uh, speaking of gainers, I didn't mention Vampire, which is a brilliant, brilliant card. Gains, it turns into Bat, then Trashes, which it turns out Bat is probably the best trash on the board. Exorcist. Eh, for trashing that is. The more I see games with Exorcist, is the more I think about it as a gainer of spirits rather than a trasher of estates and other such cards. Anyways, both players here, they are gonna open with the Exorcist and Silver. We have a couple expensive things on the board, Expand and Pathfinding. A pathfinding seems to be essential for what you wanna do here. Build a deck that draws a lot of cards and you know gets a few expands on vampires into play. Um, so six, I'm gonna say that a six. I don't know how to pronounce that. He manages to find a vampire for enough money for a vampire on turn three here. However, Bouchon, that is butcher in the French name. I'm sorry. Uh, only comes up with double four on turns three and four. A bit unfortunate for him. Uh, which um, actually I think puts some um, six ahead in the game right now being able to have that vampire one shuffle earlier it does come at the cost of a couple advisors but that's okay advisors aren't expensive and i feel like you can get them fairly easily a leprechaun here for Cyrix, you're not gonna get wishes at this stage of the game maybe he wants it to gain a goal to buy the expensive things like pathfinding and expand maybe at the hexes could cause some problems to you it could also not cause some problems a bit of a toss up there not entirely sure uh, so three advisors to one for the french here and six is another vampire this is excellent this is really really good for Cyrix. he has two vampires Wushon is now going to pick up his first on turn seven here and uh, not only that he has not used his exorcist uh, Bouchon, not used it at all so that's, that's really, really nice. Whereas I think Cyrix has here, yeah, there's a wisp in his hand here. So he's a bit ahead on trashing. Uh, definitely ahead on the gain in front. Uh, the only thing he's behind on is the advisors. Which he should be able to catch up if he's ahead on the gainers, that is. So uh, an advisor for him here, being able to trash a couple cards with the bat. That, that's fine, that's reasonable. I would prioritize trash in there as well. And for the next... Uh, few turns here we are going to see some pressure placed on the advisor pile mostly because of this play and because advisor is a good card as well but um bouchon puts the pathfinding token on advisor making that pile a bit more precious for him and for both players uh, you see here the leprechaun it kills his wisp which is sad it could be worse uh, it could also be better like i would like the wisp in the deck and Cyrix is going to buy an advisor here and use his vampire to gain another advisor, which I think, yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Um, another unfortunate turn here for Bouchon. Not a, that's like a starting hand <laughs> after you've played an advisor. That's garbage. Not even able to buy an advisor. They're just going for a silver. Just going for a silver. So another advisor comes down for Team Canada. Uh, the Wisp comes back into the deck, which is great. And I think we are at four apiece on the advisors. I think we are at four apiece. And Bouchon should be able to take the last two here, should he desire, considering he um, has that vampire in his hand. I feel like that's what he is going to do here. He should do it anyway. Yeah, so I think that split went 6-4 to the French, but that's not too big of a deal. I could be wrong. That could have been, that could be 5-5. Five, five. We'll find out soon enough anyway, because they start drawing their decks. Anyway, so there's 1-2-3-4 for Team Canada. The Leprechaun is still in the deck here. Um, he's played it once. So he's picked up a gold. Uh, Cyrix has. 
but it also cost him his wisp so i mean i don't know <laughs> i don't know maybe that's good maybe that's not good but here he actually makes um a play that i agree with he is gonna well, play the mode of course but then after he plays the mode he is gonna trash that exorcist oh sorry um pathfinding on advisors and then trash the leprechaun to pick up an imp which i agree with which i agree with the he played it once he has a goal for his troubles and he has the money there uh to buy the pathfinding uh, when he gains his in he could you know properly well organize his leprechaun and start gaining wishes off of it and vampire is there as a gainer to accommodate um accommodate for that very easily very easily so on the other hand um while Cyrix may not have as many advisors he definitely has the gaining advantage and the trashing advantage because the vampires were so late into bouchon's deck very very late and that could be decisive um, it means okay look if you have less draw but you have a slight advantage in terms of deck development press for it try to get the game done as quickly as possible here so that would involve picking up an expand or two and just trying to churn through the provinces as quickly as possible not giving your opponent time to um, build up and you know really flex their muscle with respect to the draw so um i first expand here and this vampire brings out war war kills one of um, bouchon's advisors that is huge as a big deal as a what two labs dead in one go you know very very good hit there for Cyrix. so that does bring the advisor split closer uh, as opposed to 6-4 i think it's 5-4 now if not then it'll, it'll be 5-4 in favor of Cyrix, which is just even better for him at this point so i think both players have ins here which is great uh, they may have missed one or two opportunities to purchase an in near the end of their shuffle early in the game there uh, i think i i remember that at least happening one time for Cyrix. he could have gone for an in and but he didn't uh, expand here for Bouchon. An exorcist is going to turn an estate into a wisp. So now Cyrix is deluded, which means I th think he can't buy action cards, which is fine. Though. Like he has a bunch of gainers, and expand as well. Um, that is included in the gainers. Never mind. So he has uh, two vampires, two Bouchons, one, he also, uh, and the expands are uh, at the same amount for both players here. So now is the point where you could start thinking about Leprechaun to start gaining gold and wishes, more importantly, honestly. Uh, you could also consider going after some kind of Bishop Leprechaun thing. You know, Leprechaun gains the gold, Bishop trashes the gold. And you just go through your deck picking up points every turn like that. That's an option as well. And here, okay, so these are very interesting decision points in the game, right? So he's able to draw everything here finally. And he's going to get a big trash off with the two bats. Uh, what is it that you gain here that can put you ahead the most? What is going to advance your game state the most here? So that's something you have to ask yourself. So he does turn... Uh, copper into a leprechaun which I like and he picks up another expand uh, the bat trashes out a couple um, four coppers actually which is real nice the exorcist trashes the last one and he still st stalls so I would feel a bit um, hard done here but it happens and you have to play through it right you have to see what's best what can you make of this hand here and what does it mean for the future well you're going to draw real good next time certainly certainly you're going to draw all the way through the deck especially after you trashed five last turn and you still drew, drew through then so what is it that you want to do there so he now has the expand advantage uh bouchon seeing this starts to turn for the provinces very quickly here so he expands an in into one and he turns uh, uh he buys another one so that's two provinces for him then but he had to give up an in for it and I believe he has now his vampire back. So the play here for Cyrix, I think he makes um, the play of, yeah, he uses his expand 
Uh, and he trashes his exorcist, which fine, I agree with because it's not doing anything anymore. It's gained him an imp. It, there are no more coppers to trash. That's a fine thing to get rid of. And he picks up another expand with it. Which might be one too many expands given that he only has two ins in the deck. And he's also a moat around, but whatever. That's fine. Right? You can expand and expand into a province. So there are definitely other alternatives there. He plays the Leprechaun instead to gain a gold. Um, the Vampire here, he picks up an in with it. Just to shuffle back the expand that he gained into the deck there. So okay, fine. Uh, however, that stall turn is pretty bad for him because Bouchon doesn't stall here. But it's actually not so bad. I keep contradicting myself. Because he doesn't have enough money to get up to province on this turn. So... So X is still in the game here, very much so, even without Stolten, even without Stolten, uh, because of the lack of trashing uh, from Bouchon's end. But he has to be careful, right? Bouchon could have a good turn where he gets um, two provinces out of the pile. Now he has another expand, so potentially he could get three out of the pile. You know, province, expand province into province, expand province into province, by province. So he has to play around that, right? Potentially, if he leaves three provinces in the pile, that could give him a game loss here, could give him a game loss. He just has to keep that in mind moving forward here. And uh, like I said, he is able to have this very, very nice turn here. Very, very nice turn. You can actually play all the expands. He gets the Leprechaun out for a wish. And again, here is a point where you have to pause and think about what is my plan for the end game here? How do I plan to win the game? Do I want to... Uh, rush provinces faster than my opponent? Do I want to play a little bit slower with bishop and gold? Uh, what is the play here? I think, given the way Bouchon is playing, you can't really go too slow. Like, you have to keep up with him in points, because like I said, he has the potential to just churn three provinces out of the game and uh, send that pile hurtling downwards rather quickly. So I feel something like double province here is reasonable. Bouchon cannot dig four provinces out of the pile. Uh, if he digs three out of the pile, I mean, it depends on how he does it, right? If he mills two and gains one, then you're still close enough on points. If he uh, gains two and mills one, that's a little bit um, scary for you, but I still think you could play around it. So you have to ask yourself, okay, look, if I leave, you know, four provinces in the pile, how many can he gain actually and how many can he mill uh, is the points difference too big if i leave four should i just get um three if possible here so he goes for a couple right he turns uh one vampire into a province which is fine and he expands on expand into a province and he picks up another one right so i said two was okay three i'm not so sure about here i'm not so sure about you open up the opportunity for Bouchon here to come out with a tie. At least if he mills two, buys one. Which is not particularly difficult for him. He just needs a decent draw. He could do that. And in his, in Cirque's position here, I would be unhappy with that tie. Given, you know, that you are ahead for so much of the game here. So it does open up that small opportunity there for a tie. Um... He uses his vampire hair, but he gains an in with it rather than a duchy. So again, that is something to think about here. A duchy would have prevented that potential tie, and I don't think Cyrix could have done anything whatsoever, even if he was able to get the three provinces out of the pile for a win. As it turns out, he doesn't have that good turn that I was talking about. He just uh, expands a silver into a gold and plays with vampire, which, you know, War was bad for uh, Bouchon, and he returned the favor with Misery here. It doesn't look like it, but by the end of the game, that two points comes into play here. So now, again, important step in the end game, right? All these things you should stop and think, and I feel here he discarded those provinces a bit too quickly. A bit too quickly. I would have liked, I think, his best play here. Seeing that, okay, your opponent stall last turn, he's probably going to have a good turn this turn. He can probably dig three provinces out of the pile. Don't leave three for him there to dig up. Keep a province, so ex mill one province, and expand gold into province, and buy our gardens. I think that puts him 12 points ahead, and it leaves one province in the pile. So he would need Bouchon 
to do something like province double dutch which he can do which he can do but i think that's the best thing you have to go for here i'm not really sure what you do in this position alternatively you could go after duchies right just double expand duchies here maybe expand this leprechaun into a duchy buy another duchy so those are three duchies so that uh even if he manages to get three provinces out of the pile it means he has to mill one or two somewhere he might not come out with a win so triple duchy there might be the play instead of um double province gardens but instead he does something in between there which doesn't which just makes it easier for bouchon to win here um he goes for province and duchy and bouchon just needs to expand twice and buy any decent green card to at least get a tie here which is not difficult at all right really not difficult um had he left three in the pile and went for a triple duchy instead that would give him the same number of points as what he did here but i'm not sure if um no bouchon still would have been able to end and and end the game here right because he was able to expand gain two and then buy another yeah i think so so it didn't really matter in the end but uh the end game you have to be very very careful very very careful not to leave things in a position where your opponent could just um, pile out and win here uh if you want like you could go back pause the video you might find better alternatives than i did here looking at the game probably you will find better alternatives but the end game is, is, is tricky man and i feel like uh this game i would have felt you know bad losing this game given how far i was ahead for most of it so i felt like it was uh worth reviewing anyways thank you for watching and i'll probably put one more maybe two more up